Cancer, if you have a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn in your life, they want to talk. Page of Swords. And because I don't read reversals, there is no Page of Swords in reverse. A little bit of stalking might be. But with this deck, I only read energies upright. So, Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. Somebody has a wand for you, Cancer. Uh, quite playful, quite sensual, wanting a passionate new beginning, attraction, chemistry, all that kind of energy. And no, we are not going back to school. It's just chemistry, real life chemistry. Four of Swords might be a breakup right now. Nobody's saying a word. Four of Swords is the energy, me in my corner, you in your corner, and we'll see. We shall see. Anyways, so let's see. Quite persistent, Queen of Pentacles, and the judgment, reconciliation, and a second chance at this connection. Or life together, because Pentacles is about everyday life, so. So let's see what's coming your way, Cancer. Let's see if we pick up on what type of energies are we picking up here. Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn again. We do have the Knight of Pentacles. We do have the Moon, Pisces energy. And we have the Seven of Swords. And we have you, Page of Cups. So it might be a friend who betrayed us a bit, right? They might have been a friend. You were hoping to have something more. Maybe you, uh, somebody asked for a breakup, for a break. Actually, not a breakup, but a break. And then betrayal came to you as an information. Page of Cups, right? And the Seven of Swords. For some of you, Cancer, this person of yours is afraid to apologize for a betrayal. We do have the moon. We know it's about the dark night of the soul. They might be going through the dark night of the soul because they've lost your friendship based on or the bond with you. Knight of Pentacles, right? This is the friendly bond. Is the, um, and maybe you have this kind of connection with your lover where you are more friends than, um, you know, very um, kind of sensual and... Um, um, a different kind of bond, right? Um, it it shows up with a with a friend kind of energy. So they might have lost your trust, and somebody here feels um, quite afraid, I would say, and emotional, but afraid to apologize, I would say. The moon with the seven with the uh, page of cups, right? The energy of afraid to apologize, afraid to speak their truth, right, or come forth with the truth. But let's see, uh, Cancer, so past energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual energies, and of course, you know, you can swap the energies and take only what resonates. Current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual energies, and let's have the possible outcome. Let's have the possible outcome on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual energies. Bottom of the deck, we do have the Devil, Capricorn energy, and the Fall might be a new beginning that we need, um, Cancer, a new beginning. Sorry guys, I had to mute the mic, you know how it goes, right? I'm still a little bit, um, so anyways, Cancer, um, past energies on your side, isn't it interesting, oh my god. You have the Seven of Swords twice, Cancer. So somebody cheated, lied, and deceived you in such a way. And you've been so kind about with the Four of Pentacles, right? You um, remain there. Four of Pentacles is the energy of holding on to the connection despite the betrayal, despite the cheating, lying, and deceiving, despite the lack of apologies, despite of the toxic energies that was brought to the table following this, um, I would say, episode of... Um, that was hidden from you. I don't know, maybe a friend revealed it to you. That is this energy of somebody um, kind of shining a light on this, you know, and ending a cycle of hiding betrayal. And finally, you got word about, and with the Four of Pentacles, I believe you were still holding on to this person, but also to the, root, to the uh, connection that you created. Four of Pentacles is very practical, right? It's the foundation that you created with this person. Four of Pentacles, actually, it's a firm foundation ba based on shared resources and money. Um, so I believe...
will leave at some point maybe you continue to stay in this connection because of the foundation that you guys um have built now the person you are dealing with cancer can be an aries leo sagittarius we do have the queen of wands and the ten of cups you had a family with them they had a they felt involved in this family children this is the energy of you making them happy um being fulfilled you know family is important but also having a passionate heart we know the queen of wands she's very passionate and and um and um kind of chasing happiness pursuing happiness but ten of cups is the family energy and they were quite happy we do have the hermit again this energy of hidden um three party situation kind of we do have the three of cups and the hermit right virgo energy maybe there was a virgo between you and this person cancer and they were in a third party situation something was hidden the hermit is also the energy of nobody has to know this is my journey this is me this is my uh way of shining a light on a situation this is my business dealing with and um and probably it was revealed to you that is a strong energy of a third party of something of a form of lust a form of attraction a form of a hidden connection three of cups the hermit is absolutely a hidden connection maybe what stood between you and this person was a special bond with somebody can be your bond can be their uh, bond with somebody um, but we asked for their energies and they came to the table with the energy of ten of cups you made them happy family was important you know but then life got in the way over here twice the seven of swords and we just started the reading so most certainly some unfinished business are still in your energy in their energy um, and some fears and darkness about with the hermit and the moon so just saying so where are we right now cancer they are all over your energy we do have the king of wands and the king of cups we are still passionate about them we still long for them we still want to make love to them we still long for their body their smile their presence their passion and king of cups here you are emotional involvement this is having a big cup of love for this person wanting to give this person your all and also staying in your own power and becoming mature also um, journeying emotionally and with the energy of the king of um, wands also taking control king of wands is a leader right he's mobilizing resources and he's um, in front of everybody so i feel that with two kings in your energies i'm that is an energy of evolving of ascension of progression a sense of developing something a sense of taking control in some way right now the person you are dealing with they do have twice the seven of cups so they are confused cancer they are confused right now whatever happened between the two of you got them uh, completely out sorry guys i'm back so the seven of cups they might have options but this is absolutely not what i think about it can be because we have the seven of swords twice so somebody is looking around somebody is uh, longing for freedom and possibilities but i'm more sensing they are like this illusion illusion confusion and daydreaming right emotional about what happened and it's twice so they are kind of double confused and it kind of makes sense they've made they came to the table with the energy of ten of cups you are my happiness i do believe we can be happy the energy of passion if you are dealing with a fire sign queen of wands king of wands absolutely that was a passionate physical bond an attraction of some sort so they are kind of double confused if you are my happiness and i gave you my happiness and my passion and my fire you know kind of makes sense twice the seven of cups but again you can swap the energies can be your energy here and this person might be dealing with um you know your energy and also another fire sign or their own fire cancer mutual energies between the two of you oh my god that is um a burning desire over here with the ace of wands 
well you have a one for them they have a one for you but you know what i mean right in the same time we do have two kings so i might be picking up on an energy there but this is the energy of passion and new beginning and we are both waiting three of ones we've invested in this we had moments of happiness we had moments of pleasure we have we ha had intense moments and also emotionally fulfilling moments with the king of cups ten of cups so we expect this to come back around again. Ace of Wands, Three of Wands. We expect this new beginning to happen. We know it will happen. It's just a matter of when. Uh, which is pretty interesting. Now moving forward, Cancer, we do have the Sun and the Chariot. This is the, by excellence, the, the combination of energy saying uh, the truth will set you free. You do have the sun, all about the truth, all about the happiness. And the chariot, this is your energy, but also the energy of breaking free. So happiness is coming your way, freedom is coming your way, success is coming your way. Whatever you set your mind to, you know, with the sun you'll be able to um, hit and not miss, right? And the chariot is again your energy standing in your own power. And you show up here, king of cups and the chariot feels like you are taking control over this feels like you leave behind whatever needed to be left behind and i say that because we do have the devil with the fool that was toxic there were shadows and shadows are left behind whatever however these shadows might be and we might be very passionate right now longing for a new beginning longing for this person their body their mind their passion their fire but you know what? At the end of the day, truth shall set you free. And guess what, Cancer? They want commitment. Now you show up here with the Ten of Pentacles. This is, I am going to go back to my Cancer. We're going to have kids. We're going to bring the families together. I'm going to be part of their community. I'm going to bring them to be part of mine. And I, will, I shall have success with my cancer. They really believe that family is still possible. Ten of cups in the past, seven of cups right now confused, but now they know. Um, as they move forward, clarity comes to their mind and your energy is all over their energy. And all over your energy in, for, in the form of control. Eight of cups, ten of wands, both of you fully burdened by this walking away you might be taking responsibility for what happened they take responsibility for what happened you know the emotional disconnection they feel that they made it happen it's because of them or you'll think it's mutual energy so you both feel the same like burdened by this um you know trying to um to find a solution to to this being quite brainy about it Um, now that we have all the energies um, on the table, Cancer, it's kind of uh, time to talk, you know? And uh, no, it's not going to be mommy talk. Um, but, 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 we have, twi we have the devil and twice the seven of swords on the table. So this is kind of an aha moment that is a red flag for somebody. Um, you know, and Seven of Swords can be self-betrayal, can be betrayal um, in regards to the other person, the soulmate, the, the um, lover that we have, the person we deal with. And we have the devil, right? So, um, you know, some um, reality check up here, some red flags on, on this. And we also have energies of starting new with the full as the overall energy. And yet we have holding on to a family situation, holding on to money, holding on to a foundation that we've built, holding on to the ships we, we've invested in. Even if we feel burdened, if we, even if we have this energy of eight of pentacles emotionally disconnecting, we still hold on to this, you know? They hold on to you, you hold on to them. Um, and that's why I say it's kind of like reality check over here. Because I'm sensing cancer, we don't know exactly what to do. And maybe we don't know exactly, you know, the, um, I don't want to say the magnitude, but the uh, proportions 
right? The proportions of the Seven of Swords. So, some food for thought there. Um, and while family is important, love is important too, you know? And staying in a connection. And I'm sensing that somebody here is like attached to, even if confused, even if betrayed, even if uh, in pain, somebody stays attached to a family energy. Um, and on your side, I'm, I'm, of course, I'm seeing you illuminated and happy and, um, and free and good. So maybe, you know, somebody, maybe on your side, you don't, uh, speak with yourself the full truth. I'm just saying, however this resonates with you, you know, but that is a big cheater over here. And that is somebody attaching themselves to the idea of family, of children, of roots, of legacy. Even if burdened, even if disconnected emotionally, we are still staying there. So how, whoever this applies to, you know, and who am I to uh, tell you what to do? You know better. Um, but I also know that love is the only way. So I'm just saying. Um, Cancer, let's ask for some guidance here. We do have flirt, flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others and you do have free yourself on the bottom of the deck. So you forgot to be open, right? To extend your lighthearted energy to others and you have free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. So somebody here, um, it's an act of courage, actually. This is how it feels for me, like an act of courage. So we do have surrender your belief in scarcity and it makes sense with the four of pentacles. You might be afraid that you don't have enough if you leave somebody. So the universe is asking you to open to the infinite nature of abundance. In this way, you can remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond your wildest dreams. Do not be afraid. Money is just a piece of paper. You'll find resources. When we break free from cycles like this, Resources will align and you keep the energy flowing. Surrender to receiving support and love. Allow the love and support of others in rather than trying to handle everything yourself. This can take the pressure off and simultaneously nurture you. And we do have surrender unhealthy relationships and drama at the bottom of the deck. So let go of relationships that don't serve you, including unavailable or toxic people. You deserve to be treasured by others and be surrounded by positive people. Surrender the drama. No matter how emotionally charged the situation, remain calm and don't contribute to the drama. Staying centered will help resolve the issue more quickly. So Cancer, that is such a straightforward message. Free yourself unhealthy relationships, drama, um, receive help and do not think you don't have enough. You always have enough. And you are always enough, if you are wondering. Now let's have one guardian angel and then we say goodbye. Okay, we have one. The Empress. The Empress, we need to free yourself, a call to action. So dear one, you've been called to action. You're ready to accomplish great things and truly come into the fullness of who you are. It's a time of great creativity, giving birth to beloved projects or becoming a parent. Follow your passion so that abundance and prosperity manifest you. So Cancer, you heard the call to action. That is something that we need to overcome and move forward from and free yourself from and you do have freeing yourself from the devil, right? So baby, this is all that I have for you guys. You know I love you, right? I wish you nothing but the best. As always, please let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Please stay, stay safe and strong, and come see me next time. Love you. Take care.